by the windmill, now that the juice is back. You're really helping the community. Activating those, Aiden. Much obliged, I said the windmill. Oh, 
you're always so negative about things, not... The essence of survival? What are you talking about? Want to find out? Just close your eyes. What do you perceive? Well, um, I hear noises. Yeah? What else? Oh, something stinks. Exactly. The smell. Impulses going straight from the senses to the limbic system, triggering an emotional response. Memories. The well-being of the mind. But, uh, well, that smells like... Well, that smells like shit. What did you expect? What do you think people use as fertilizers around here? Too much information. Sorry. So, who are you and what are you doing here? Before the fall, I used to work in a fragrance manufacturing company. I consider myself lucky to have been professionally active within the only century when the world actually smelled nice. Now it's back to normal. So I asked myself, how can I change that? What scent would make people the most happy in this miserable world? I sure hope you don't mean smelling like shit is the essence of survival. Of course not. I have this really exciting idea for a new fragrance. People are gonna pay a fortune for just a whiff. I called it, turn me on. And it's almost finished. I just need some scraps for the heart note. A uh, heart note? Hmm, the middle note of the perfume. Metal scraps and lavender. That's all I'm missing. Oh, of course. Metal scraps and lavender, the obvious blend. Naira goes out of her way to be controversial. If you bring me some, I'll tell you everything about my secret formula. Naira said she needs lavender for her perfume, too. Hm. Now that makes more sense. Metal scraps. Naira wants them. Oh, I hope this isn't some wild goose chase. Making perfume out of metal? <laughs> Sounds absurd. Here, your, uh, ingredients. Mmm, good. I wish there was more oil on the metal scraps, but... Oh, Naira, can't you just be thankful for what you've got for once? She gives me this shit every day, I swear. Okay. Okay. Voila! It's ready. Here, smell it. Wow. It smells... It's... Oh, boy. It's like heaven. What is it? Silly little boy. Too young to know, aren't you? It's new car smell. A... A car? Are you disappointed? The scent of luxury is the bass note. The smell of confidence is the heart note. And the fragrance of risk and adventure is the head note. All you dream about is to turn it on and drive away into the distance. Thanks so much for helping me out. Unlike some people. Here, have this. I rubbed it with Turn Me On. This'll remind you to tune into your sense of smell now and then. How are we gonna grow pumpkins without water, huh? <clears throat> Who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the Pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. 
This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up, to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad, and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, oh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? That's my business. Not when you're on my turf, Pilgrim. But fine. I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man, and we are many. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. And I really hope your business doesn't make Herman angry. Farewell, my friend. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the falling and how. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. 
I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Now, what are you proposing? Go to one of the Craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, kind of shy. They're both craftsmen, clever too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. A certain transaction? Is that anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution, and every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology, and an armed faction to enforce it. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city, a byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does, but there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craftmasters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Sophie has interesting people working for her. Like a pilgrim, apparently. Who'd kill Lucas? Someone with moon-sized balls who wanted to send a message. You don't discreetly kill them. Back in the day, I had a huge and massive, well, and a workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Albert. <laughs> Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. They've already sent one of their f f f f f f fuckwits. Who? That fellow, <laughs> Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney, and he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred, a uh, hundred and twenty. Uh, a hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. All right, thanks. Here. I sell the real thing. They say keeping goats is where it's at. Hey, you. I'm Damien. Aiden. 
You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. Don't keep them waiting. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. And just between us, you and my friend. Later. I'm listening. That's Aiden. I've just been offered an extremely shady deal, but maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. Will do. Over and out. Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? Because we're not letting in tour groups. 
Nothing personal. It's just, you know, we're careful people. So I'll ask again. Are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You'd better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Are you interested or not? I'm Aiden. Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So... You're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job, then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well-known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well-known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. <sighs> Call him in, boys. <clears throat> Die? God, you asshole! You set me up! What? No, no, no! I, I swear, I, I would never! I, I was just doing my job! Scouting! It's my job! Who are these people? And why were they looking for me? I don't know, Aiden! You gotta believe me! Please! They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? What have you done, Damien? I didn't know. At first. But I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't. 
How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm trapped. Believe me, they have my brother. Your brother? I talk fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. I just figured if I did good, they'd eventually release him. I'm being played, and I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? You sent me to the slaughter, and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. You're mad. I get it. But look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you, wouldn't you want to find him? <sighs> All right, fine then. But you better pray that he knows something. Nope. He's not here. No signs of Cliff here. Damn it. You don't think they... He's not... He's not dead. Is he? Don't jump to conclusions. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it. This is all my fault. I'm such a fool. Sending people here? Yeah, that's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. Where did you last see him? We were in East Quarry and close to Devil's Bridge when they attacked us. They took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since... I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. What's Devil's Bridge? It's the name of this building. In the Middle Ages, they said devils haunted it. But then, times changed and no one believed in those things anymore. Before the virus, it was a car repair shop. Now it's full of bandits. I guess I'll search the area around Devil's Bridge. Aiden, you serious? You'd do that for me? Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies because of you. I know I didn't exactly make a good impression, but please save him. Shopkeeper's here. Inside, man.
infected. Percent, give or take. People will, will you take like care of it? Apparently. Why can't you do it? Hey, My brother. Yeah! <laughs> 
Damien? Damien? Nah, I'm Cliff. Wow, resemblance is uncanny. Guards! Wait, stop! Damien sent me. How did you escape? Escape? I have no reason to escape, man. So you're not... You're working with them, aren't you? Well, duh. Listen, Cliff, what I really want to know right now is about the murder of Commander Lucas. The PK commander? What about him? Did you or your people kill him? No fucking way. We're not suicidal. Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry. Like you, for instance. Me? What the hell do you mean? You and Damien haven't figured it out? Oh, well. I love my brother, but he's a dope. Always has been. Damien? Damien, Aiden here. Do you read me? Over. Did you find Cliff? Yeah, but he... Uh... Hey, bro, you were a huge help sending all those kids. You've made Dr. Waltz mighty happy. Waltz? He's the boss here. Boss? Cliff? What? I don't understand. Yeah, they took me, but I joined the team right quick. Had to pretend they were gonna kill me to get you in line and following orders. You did? What? Don't be a baby about it. It was the only way to make you behave. How could you do this to me? To all those kids you made me drag in. To their deaths. Don't worry about it, bro. It was all for the greater good. Whose greater good? The bosses, of course. And just now, you served up the guy the boss wanted most. That's him, fellas. The one who took the doc's toy.
Are you still there? Come in, Damien. God, can you hear me? Ader. Did the lead pan out? Nah, dead end. I'm not surprised. What can you do? I'll keep digging. Go. Oh, <laughs> 
weather's been crazy lately. I calculated that it would have to rain for a whole week. <clears throat> been very strong. What's that all about? Beats me. Just started raving about something being all his fault. He was in a bad way. He's not answering his radio. He didn't look like he was in a talkative mood. Any other way into the tower? Not really. Not by ordinary means. People have tried to climb the wall, but those who have usually end up getting scraped off the ground. Yeah, I'll give it a shot.
Damien, stop or I jump! Wait, okay. I stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? I don't know. About life? Fuck you. That's what you hung up on. That you're alive and so many aren't now because of you. Damien? I killed them. All of them. Look, man, it was a bad deal all around. You aren't evil. Okay, you were trying to save your brother. They backed you into a corner. But my brother is one person. One person. But I've killed so many. No. Sent them to be killed. You didn't kill them yourself. What choice did you have? Believe me, I've done plenty of bad in the name of good. And then... Just plain bad. But I'm not an evil person. And neither are you, Damien. I am. I could have found another way. But did I try? I can't close my eyes without seeing the face of every kid. I said, hey, you're new around here, too. They're all dead. And now so is my brother. Because of me. I can't take it anymore. Sure you can. You can prove how strong you really are. Live your life. And use each day to make it right. It's too much to fix. I can't. I, it can never be enough. I'm sorry, Aiden. Make room. I'm jumping with you. Are you crazy? Why not? We can go together. Now it's one more death added to your tab. Why would you... No, you would never... Try me. Jump. Go on. Jump. I'll be right behind. You ever hear that most jumpers change their minds mid-air? Uh, no. That's true. They're falling and think, Oh fuck, maybe this actually wasn't the smartest thing I've done in my life. Soon my head's gonna smash open like a watermelon, and I'll writhe around with no control over my arms and legs, and beg for someone to finish me off. But nobody's gonna finish you off here, Damien. Except maybe the infected. They'll eat you foot to forehead, Damien. Slowly. I'm going. See you on the ground. Wait! Let's talk. About what? I... I, I don't know. About life? Maybe. Sure. But I guess I don't have a life anymore. All the guys that died, they died because... And quit being a broken wrecker, will ya? You'll get over it. Now pull yourself the fuck together and back away from that ledge. Or you really will fall. You feel bad about those deaths? That's great. It means you got a conscience. There's not many left in this town with a conscience. But you got one. And that's why you should live. To make up for what you did. There will always be time to jump. Tomorrow, day after, no rush. Look, I won't stop you. But keep this in mind. Like I said before, make it right. Keep living. At least till you make it right. So, how many deaths do you think you're responsible for? Don't make me say it, Aiden. Eight, maybe. Eight? Even better. Better? Yeah, because now you have to save eight lives. Deal? But... You gotta balance those scales, Damien. Do we have a deal? Deal. Smart move. I better not regret this. You won't. I got a job for you. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> How about that? Damien's got a sense of humor. Gallows humor, I guess. Yeah, it seems appropriate, all things considered. Aiden? Yeah? Thanks. No problem. I saved your life, kid. Now don't fuck it up, okay? Jesus, Damien. What's up with you? Were you about to jump? I was, but Aiden... What's with this? It's all my fault business. Talk to me. Yeah, the people from the bazaar. My brother... Wait, hold up. Don't confuse yourself again, Damien. 
Just relax and shut up for now. Wait, he was just talking about killing people or something. What's going on here? And the kid just found out his brother died. He's in shock, babbling nonsense. You cut the man some slack, will you? Have a heart. Fuck, Cliff's dead. No wonder he's all torn up. I get it now. My sympathies, Damien. You can talk to me whenever you want. <laughs>